Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga and today I'm going to be very drist drastic again because I uh, did change the setup for my Vendas but as you probably already noticed I have two of them already in glass faces this one needs to be adjusted a little bit but um, because um, I oh, yeah despite of me really liking these clay pots and the setup uh, well, obviously this one uh, obviously but this one is sick so it's not doing well um, anyhow but even my best growers fendas like this one have fairly soft leaves and they put up a spike as you can see here but it's very poorly and um, they're really trying to spike but I they barely have the energy anymore and they have their cakey so I'm done with it I'm going back to my uh, glass faces like I had before and they did wonderfully well the only uh, exception and that was the reason why I've changed it because never a change a winning team uh, of course but uh, the algae a lot of algae I had so that will be uh, back of course and I will see how uh, how I will deal with that but that's has, hasn't uh, the effect on the, of the algae on the roots isn't as big as the effect that I have now. I just cannot keep up with the watering. Well, I, I have them watered, but they they cannot keep up this time. It's the other way around. They cannot get to the water, something like that. So, and they are starting to make new roots. And I will damage some of them, but I have to be, uh, like I said, quite drastic and get them out. Because, yeah, these beauties, they deserve to be uh, in a happy place again. And this is my best grower. It has a lot of roots, so uh, once again I will damage some, but uh, yeah. So that's what I'm uh, doing today, and I will not film it. Oh yeah, you can see the spike, the blooms, and the spike stopped growing. Once again, I have, I'm dealing with pests, yes, but I can also see that they are not not as strong as they should be. So I will be, ba be back, and then I hopefully have them all back in glass faces. So, uh, see you later. <laughs> Yeah, I feel so sorry because this is what I had to take off. A heck of a lot of roots from all the vendors that I have. A few more, a few less uh, did lose some roots. But uh, as you can see, we have some mold going on. So yeah, it, it was absolutely time to take them out of their uh, growing uh, situation and change it. So I'm very happy that I did. I think we can save most of them. Probably all of them. So uh, let's have a look in the... You uh, can judge yourself. <laughs> so yeah, I must admit, I do like the look of it. And that's, uh, it's strange because I changed it and I really enjoyed the look of the terracotta pots as well. But now these faces are algae free. And then I love this setup. But uh, the algae, went, as soon as that sets in, yeah, I really do not like the uh, display. But yeah. I could be deal better with the algae than uh, have them potted up in uh, lava rock as we saw and luckily we uh, they all have the, some roots this one had a lot of roots still left so those are all uh, viable roots good roots I felt them and this one has a new root growing here this one it has some have still some la lava rock I just did uh, leave it there maybe when I start soaking they will uh, let go of the lava rock and this is my uh, Wanda Densoniana, my seedling, and that one has luckily still some roots left as well. Probably I did some damage on the roots, but... And this one, this one is uh, my biggest, I think, of one of the two biggest. And still luckily has a lot of roots, but this one did uh, lose quite a lot of roots as well. All rotted and I had to cut them off. I did give them a uh, good spray with hydrogen peroxide to be sure to get the rock off, uh, rot off, rot and bacteria off, I should say. And yeah, this one is luckily has some roots left as well. This one never has much roots, but the roots, uh, yeah, they were starting to grow again and then they stopped, but probably they will come back. This is a fairly new one, and I need to. No, I did, uh, did adjust it. I'm sorry. I thought I was forgetting it. But it was laying on uh, the bottom of the pot. But I uh, did uh, replace it again. It has some roots. It didn't have much. But uh, we have a beautiful new root here. So I hope that one will uh, grow further. And 
the other ones will uh, branch out. This is my second. The, the, the orchid itself is the largest and it has quite a lot of keikis, but um, the other one has a bigger root system. This has a fairly nice root system as well, but lost quite a lot uh, of them as well. Or also. And, but luckily we have new root tips still there, so I think this one will be fine. And then we have the poorest one. It already didn't do well before I did it, get it in the terracotta pot. So I'm not sure if it's ill. It just it did bloom and bloom and bloom for me, but never made much roots. But still there are some new bits there, so hopefully, and here on the stem, we have also new roots coming. So at first I thought I was uh, losing this one, but now I think, well, probably there is a chance we can save this one. You can see the, the leaves are very dehydrated. It's crazy. And this one is making a beautiful root here, but I did damage the tip, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm happy they are back and I can go back to my old system and that worked incredibly well. So finally I'm going to uh, hopefully make life better for these guys. Because I really, really love growing them. And the blooms are spectacular, of course. So yeah. So this is it, this is my event update, I'm back at the beginning uh, when I started uh, this uh, project earlier this year, but anyhow, I learned a lot, my poor plants, but I, uh, I hope they will forgive me and will start growing again. And I will uh, not change it, uh, at least to a uh, terracotta pot setup for these guys, but they just do not like it, at least they, it doesn't work in my climate, I know some people can make it work but I, uh, I I can't so this is it for now and uh, I will do an update in a few weeks so we can see what the vendors do if they respond uh, very well if they are happy if this was the message they tried to send out to me we will have a look uh, like I said in, in a few weeks probably a few months so for now thank you for watching and uh, as usual I hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye